Milk 2017. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. At the beginning of the movie, Eva and her daughter Jilka are seen shopping for Jilka's 18th birthday in the grocery store. Both mother and daughter appear to be having a good time shopping for Jilka's birthday. After some time, Jilka sees her boyfriend Adrian standing at the shop gate, and she is overjoyed to see him. Then Eva says to him, You stopped meeting him, didn't you? But Jolta ignores Eva and goes to meet Adrian, and they kiss each other. Eva was watching all this strangely from inside the shop. Jolta is deeply in love with Adrian. After shopping, Eva comes out of the shop and sees Jolta talking to Adrian. And despite having shopped in the car, Adrian later claims to have brought the keys to his house with him. Because of this, his father will have trouble going inside the house. Then Jolta and Adrian start kissing each other and Eva tells her to keep the belongings inside the car. It looks like Eva doesn't like Adrian. Then they all get into the car, and she notices Adrian in the rearview mirror, whom she likes. Then Adrian also looks at her in the mirror as if they are saying something to each other. The eyes of both of them reveal a strange condition. Later, he arrives at the lakeside, at Eva's house. Then Eva tells her daughter Jolka to get things out of the car and go inside and open the door windows. Then she leaves. Adrian takes the materials from the car and goes after Eva. Eva stops for a while and tells him that your bus is just in one hour. Adrian walks inside the house without saying anything to her. Inside the house, he tries to talk to Eva. Adrian says to her, Jolka has invited me. If I leave here, then Jolka will feel bad. That's the reason Adrian stops there, but she ignores him and walks out. After some time, Jolka comes to the kitchen where her mother Eva asks her to make a cake, but says to her that we have too much time until midnight and now she wants to go swimming with Adrian. That's why she refuses. Eva keeps looking at Adrian, then both of them go swimming in the lake, and both look very happy while enjoying swimming. Then Eva is seen doing household chores and birthday decorations, but it seems she is not interested in household chores or birthday decorations. Later, she sees Adrian and Jolpa swimming in the lake. She looks at him with a strange look and becomes disheartened, and she decides to decorate the house for her birthday. But now she is not happy like in the shopping mall in the morning. She was happy before meeting Adrian, although she does not appear now. After a while, Eva starts cleaning the house. Then Adrian stops outside the door and after a while, comes inside the room, and later he comes and stands behind Eva. He needs sun cream. So Adrian approaches Eva, and even though Eva does not leave, Adrian asks her to find sun cream, but Adrian comes to him and asks him for permission to stay for the birthday party. Then Eva says, I will bring the sun cream from the bathroom, and walks away from Adrian, and she is not outside the bathroom door when she says, Adrian, it's only one hour left for the bus. But Eva looks very nervous and goes to the bathroom, looks at her face in the mirror and washes. Her trouble is visible on her face. She comes out with a sun scram. Later, when Jolka and Adrian return after swimming, Eva tells Adrian that her father called her and Adrian has the keys to the house. So he has to go home early. Then Jolka asks why Adrian's father called her and then Eva because of the phone network issue. After this, Jolka goes inside to get the key. Then Adrian comes to close Eva, because he realizes that there is no network issue. His father had not called her, and he says to her, I love Jolka. Hearing this, Eva starts smiling. She says to him, you are a shameless boy. Just then, Jolka gives him the key. Sometime later, Adrian and Jolka kiss and hug each other. They both start joking a bit too. After a while, Adrian leaves. Eva sees all this from the kitchen window. Her jealousy is visible on her face. Jolka enters the kitchen after a while, and while Eva was making the cake, she inquires as to why she despises Adrian. Eva asks her why she is asking this question. She says that it is because Adrian was asking her about you again and again. So Jolka says that when she went naked swimming, the village administrator opposed her. Then she left the naked swimming. Eva tells him that it is not a good thing to tell him such a private thing about your mother, and goes to get milk to make the cake. But Eva goes the same way Adrian was going, and later, she catches him on the way, and asks him to sit in the car. Adrian sees her and gets into the car without saying anything. 
Neither of them talks to the other for a while. Then Eva stops the car on an empty road. They both sit quietly in the car. Eva looks very upset, and Adrian also looks in distress, as if she wanted to tell him so much, but she is silent. When Adrian touches the hair that comes on Eva's cheek, she gets very excited as soon as her hand touches her cheek, and they both start kissing each other, and they both kiss each other for a very long time in the car, doing body romances as if both of them wanted it. Then they both get intimate in the car. After getting intimate, Adrian goes outside the car to pee when Jolka's call comes on his phone. Seeing her phone call, Eva gets very nervous and cuts the phone call. Adrian kept looking at her through the car door. The happiness was visible on his face. Eva doesn't seem happy because of her attraction to Adrian. She would have formed an intimate relationship with him. She asks him for a cigarette because of his attraction toward her. That is why she did not want him to stay with her daughter. But today she could not control herself. She feels regret and she gets very upset. She smokes a cigarette and Adrian is watching her through the car door. Then he sits in the car, lights another cigarette and gives it to Eva and tries to kiss her again. But Eva ignores him again. And then he stops and keeps looking at her. Eva asks him to leave. He gets upset and leaves after listening to her. Eva finishes her cigarette and starts the car and leaves from there. When she brings milk near the house, then after getting down from the car, she sees that the whole decoration of the house is spoiled. When she goes inside the kitchen, she sees that Jolka has fainted there. Then Eva asks him the reason for spoiling the decorations. Then Jolka says that there will be no party. Eva gets upset after hearing this and goes close to her, and she also cries. Ask him the reason. Then Jolka weeps and says to her mother, Eva, Mom, you are right. You are always right. Adrian is not a good boy. He didn't do well with me on my birthday either. Because Adrian had to message her that he would not come to her anymore. And in the future, he will never meet her and break up with her. And he spoiled my birthday. She cries a lot. And later Eva hugs her and tries to console her. Eva tries to convince him. But the trouble is visible on his face. And all this happened because of him. Today, because of the daughter whose birthday she wanted to celebrate in a big way, her love is away from her, and her birthday is also spoiled. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out.